If you've been shopping for groceries lately, you may have noticed that meat prices are at an all-time high. 7 News' Alexandra Young spoke to a local butcher about how much you could be paying in this 7 News Consumer Report. The owner of Tate Meat Works here tells me that in all his years in the meat industry, he's never seen prices skyrocket like this before. He says this increase is for all kinds of meat. Ground beef right now, double what it should be. Tenderloins about 50% higher than what they should be. Strips, at least 50% higher. Ribeyes, they're closer to 60% higher than what they should be. Grant Tate has owned his butcher shop since 1997. He says there are a lot of factors behind the price hikes, but the main problem is supply. We're just short, and the bottom line is, is you still have problems with the supply chain, getting it here. A lot of these plants aren't in full employment still. You've got the new COVID stuff coming through. He says all his employees are working around the clock. So we shut down for a week just so the guys could take some time off. It's the growth is through the roof. Um, the demand for high end beef is through the roof. And he says it's not just beef. Chicken. Totally out of control. I mean, I've never seen chicken wings the way they're priced are. Kasaya Meadows tells me she's noticed. It's a lot more than it used to be. Grocery shopping is getting kind of harder. She says buying the cheapest meat available isn't the best option. I think um, if you want to get it cheaper, then you have to get like a lower quality. And I don't think that's really fair for the other people who are trying to eat healthier because if you get a lower quality, there's more fat. Tate thinks things are only going to be getting more expensive. It's not a problem with me getting it. It's a problem me getting at a price I can sell without people, you know, swallowing their tongue. Tate says ways to save on meat are to find good deals, buy in bulk if you can, and to call grocery stores and distributors to see what they have more of. In Spartanburg, Alessandra Young, 7 News. The Biden administration has announced a $1 billion plan for independent meat and poultry producers. Their goal is to help the industry and to lower prices for consumers.